Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the factors of this given quadratic expression by using no fast factoring method. And one more thing, let me caution you that this method is only going to work if the leading coefficient is other than one. And here is the very first step. I want you to look at the end numbers. The numbers on the left hand side is 15 and the right hand side is number is 14. I want you to create a rainbow and multiply these two numbers. And at the same time, I want you to put down this x factor. This looks like an x. I want you to just multiply them out. 15 times 14 is going to be 210. You know that thing. This is what we did. 15 times 14, we got this one, 210, isn't it? And I want you to write down this negative 41. This is gonna go at the bottom. Now my next question is, I want you to look at this 210. What are the possible factors of 210? And here I have listed all the possible factors of 210. Now you have to decide which one is going to work for us. So if you look at this thing among these, all the possible options, 6 and 35 is going to work for us because 6 and 35, if you add them, that's going to give you 41. So I want you to write down just saying simply 6 and write up here 35. Now we must fix this sign, isn't it? So since we have a negative 41, so this sign is going to be a negative and negative. Now these are what we got. We got negative 6 and negative 35. If you add them, you're going to get negative 41. And if you multiply, you're going to get 210. Now, I know you might be wondering, this list describing all the possible factors is really cumbersome. It's really, I mean, hectic. So is there any possible easy way of doing this thing? Let me show you an easy way of doing this one. Most of the time it's going to work for you. So let me just show you how we are going to do this one. So let me just put down over here 15 times 210 is same as 15 times 14, isn't it? That is 210, isn't it? That's what we got. Now, I want you to just individually factor them out. 15 could be written as 3 times 5. And 14 could be written as 2 times 7, isn't it? So once you figure out this one, the rest is now really simple. You can see over here, you can make a pair over here. 2 times 3 is going to give you 6, isn't it? And 7 times 5 is going to give you 35. So that means 6 times 35 are our possible factors, 6 and 35. This is another approach you can take. And here is our next step. I want you to just simply focus on this part only, 15t. Don't worry about this exponent, just disregard the exponent. So I want you to write down 15t in the first parentheses and once again, 15t in the second parentheses as well. And finally, you know that our two factors that we figured out are negative 6 and negative 35. I want you to just simply write them down, negative 6 and negative 35. So far so good. Now I want you to look at the first parentheses. What do you see? What is in common between them? 3 is in common for sure. Make sure you divide both of these numbers 
by 3. And at the same time, in the second parentheses, if you look at this thing, we got 15 and 35. Both are divisible by 5. Go ahead and divide these one by 5 over here. Now we are going to simplify over here. The first parenthesis is going to become 5t minus 2 times 3t minus 7. So these are our factors. So thus 5t minus 2 times 3t minus 7 are our factors and that is our answer. And now here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own? You can take your time. You can pause your video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. I want you to check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.